In the early hours of Tuesday morning, in the pictures Muang district of Payao, non-relenting downpour transformed the tranquil Mai Kahuai Kian stream into a raging torrent, leaving devastation in its wake. Residents woke to the alarming sight of rising waters that soon engulfed their homes and streets, forcing them to speak refuge on upper floors and even rooftops. The heart-wrenching scene unfolded in Ban Huaikian village, situated in Tambon Maika of Muang district. The relentless rain had burst the stream's banks overnight, causing flood levels to soar between 1 and 2 meters. Buildings that stood as symbols of stability were now drowning under the muddy waters, their foundations hidden beneath a watery blanket. By the dire circumstances, the community spirit shone brilliantly. Neighbors check on neighbors, ensuring that those trapped by the flood, especially the elderly and those with limited mobility, were not left behind. Makeshift shelters quickly filled with evacuees and the air bus with the soft hum of shared experiences and whispers with assurances. Local shops and businesses, though some inundated, opened their doors to aid distribution. Essentials like food, water and medical supplies flow to those in need. Social media platforms became lifelines of their own. 
We call for assistance met with swift action. The University of Palau now eerily quiet, so teams of volunteers and officials working tirelessly to check every dormitory and ensure all students were accounted for. As the days stretch on, the flood water showed no immediate signs of receding. Engineers and environmental experts speculated on potential damage to infrastructure and the long-term impact on the region. However, among the technical jargon was a simple, potent truth. The character of Payal's people was as unyielding as the waters were ungovernable. As the rescue operations continue into the night and the days to follow, the story of the Muang District flood will not soon be forgotten. It will be remembered not just for the damage caused, but the tremendous human spirit that shone through even the darkest hours. From the rooftops of dormitories to the makeshift shelters, tales of bravery, kindness, and unity will echo long after the flood waters have receded. Vehicles floated aimlessly like toys tossed aside by a petulant child. The University of Bio, a beacon of knowledge and youth, wasn't spared from nature's wrath. Dormitories that once hummed with the vibrant life of students were abruptly silenced, now echoing the chaos of the flood. Desperate for safety, many students clambered to rooftops, their belongings left behind in water lodge rooms. The municipal office in Wang Payao sprang into action, coordinating with local authorities and rescue teams. With the break of town, swift evacuation operations began. Inflatable boats became lifelines navigating the improvised river that the roads had become. Amidst the tumult, volunteers emerged as everyday heroes, helping to ferry the elderly, the young, and everyone in between to save their ground. <laughs> 